Um, basically, I got involved with 3D printers and I decided that I needed something to print. And I didn't want to just print off one thing, I wanted to print, uh, work on a project. And I liked biking and so I came up with the idea to print a full bike. Uh, we're still in the, uh, the design loop. Um, so we have to design, test it, analyze it, redesign, test it, analyze it. So we're still in this loop and um, hopefully, I very hopeful here, maybe we can uh, take it for a spin this summer sometime. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like the rod we had going up that it would pivot around just broke apart actually in the middle of the bike so yeah that, yeah this part's supposed to fit in here but it's in two pieces now I guess I'll have to look at it a bit there yeah uh, the side this is meant to be solid so something went wrong in there that then pulled apart so I guess we can make that solid yeah. again well like I said earlier we actually had to drill the interior out a bit so that probably we it down a bit Everything is printed that isn't the wheels, like the pedals and chain part, the seat, and then two little bearings in here. Everything else is printed. So there's two little bearings and the whole rest of it's plastic. Well, depending on what happens, depending on the materials, uh, accessible and everything, uh, eventually, uh, ideally, I don't know if, uh, well, ideal, and hopeful, uh, you could go home, print your own bike off, assemble it, IKEA bike, I guess you could say, and uh, and uh, put your wheels on and everything, and go. Um, something breaks, you print off a new one due to wear and tear. Keep going. Um, it'd be fairly easy to scale down multiple sizes. Um, it's very easy to do. make. Yeah, make uh, fully customizable. If you want a kid's bike, print off your kid's bike. Go pick up the wheels.